Chuck. Hang on. I haven't plugged me thing in again. Oh, I've got, got, got to learn how to do this, you know. got to remember how to, to plug my audio interface in. One, two, two. Right, OK. So theoretically, I should be live. Um, OK, let's see. Let's see what's going on. And let me get on my stream so I can see who's here. Who's here waiting to see <coughs> about the new update features in Digistics. Right, OK. So they're very, very good. Loads of cool stuff going on. And as long as someone can tell me that we're live, I can get on with the stream. Yes, yeah, so, oh, excellent. Oh, good oh, good oh. Oh, there's lots of you here already. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Hoz. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Paul's here. Um, yeah, I really need to make some changes to Chameleon. Um, evening. Um, sounds good. Rustic. Hello. Hi, Paul. Hi, Russ. Right, okay. So, yes, yes, I'm live. So, we're going to go through the, uh, well, most of the update features. And any ones that I forget, Paul is here to remind me uh, what we're going to do. So um, the first one is I don't want to spend time like going over what I did in the previous video. So we're not going to need to cover song mode or building a pattern and stuff like that. Although there will be a bit of pattern building. But we're going to cover all the other stuff that was added. So if you remember, we shall start with Temple. We shall start at the top. Tempo, uh, I'm, no, don't wind me up, Paul. Because if you wind me up, son, there'll be trouble. Now, I did update to iOS, <laughs> iPad, oh, iPad OS 13.1 today. Okay. And although the drag and drop still <laughs> works, okay, it, it can be a bit fiddly, but this is nothing to do with DigiSticks. You'll get the same problems in any drag and drop app, right? But you'll, you might see what, what I mean if it does it again. Anything good. Yes, anything could happen, really. Um, but anyway, yes, you'll see I've, I'm keeping it on little tiny titchy thingies because I like to use my magnifying glass. But I, I can actually get more on the screen, which is <clears throat> quite nice. And I've got it in dark mode, which I also find quite pleasant on my eyes as well, which is nice. Anyway, <clears throat> digi sticks. First, first thing was uh, let's just switch on our metronome here. And we've got a 4-4. Four, four counting away you remember that uh, the last time we did it the tempo if you hold the tempo can a bit can be a little bit fiddly to get to the exact tempo that you want well paul has fixed that so first thing you need to know is double tap on the tempo switch yeah double tap on the tempo switch and this will bring up another dialogue which lets you adjust the tempo in fine increments like this so we can go like one two three, 19 so we could take this down to say 115 and also points as well so 15.5 and then 15.9 and then 16 so I'm going to take the plunging update tonight i don't think you'll have any problem. there is a there is a a known bug a security issue uh, it doesn't affect me at all, and I, I don't unless you plug external like typey keyboards in, it won't probably won't affect you neither. But there is a, a security bug that allows access when it shouldn't for external keyboards. But you can easily check that by going into settings, keyboards, and then keyboards. And if you've got any extra keyboards, at you know like these Bluetooth ones and stuff like that, not synthy keyboards, like not keyboard keyboards, but. That kind of thing, but you can check there anyway. So that's how you do the metronome, right? Double tap it like that. And then you can adjust it, very fine adjustment, no problem at all. Okay, so let's move, let's just let's just move down here like this. So the next one is this. This is a user kit. Now, most of you are gonna want to do your adjustments and things like this inside of uh, your user kits and not the default bank okay so you can do your edits however for this for just for now if you swipe up you get the information there and if you swipe um this which way or down you get your access to like replacing kits and things like that let's go over to our user section here 
where I have a couple of kits set up. So let's start with the acoustic close kit, which is I copied over from the actual, um, you know, user kit sort of thing. Hey, Ali, how you doing, mate? Um, right. Okay. So we're in our user section now. And again, like I said, you know, you can swipe down, access this, close, swipe up, access this. However, if you're if you're doing some kind of mad finger drum and say, for instance, I don't know, you can you can accidentally do that and open up the menu like that, right? So now what you do is there's a little plus here. You tap on this little plus, okay, and where it says pad menus on, you can go pad menus off and that will allow you to finger drum all you like and you can't accidentally engage the menu okay you with me so another one here as well is pad status off well we'll do pad status on and you'll see that in the corner a little colored uh, marker appears which is nice if you've got a pattern playing. So I'm going to leave pad status on. I'm going to turn menus back on for now so we can swipe up and get to our menu again because I'll want to show you something with the menus as well. Okay, so now we will go into something different. We're going to look at loops, okay? We're going to look at time stretching a loop. Time stretching is really cool. Okay. Hey, hi, Daniel. Hi, Joe. My wife, everybody. Synth Widow has arrived. Oh, Spider's here as well. Hi, Spider. Right. And Hosa and Om Kringman. Om Kringman from Sweden. Hi to Sweden. Right. So let's do this. Loop tester. This is a kit that I've built. Okay. And you can see that I have a, a bass drum, a snare, a closed hat, an open hat. And if I go down to tracks, I have a drum loop. We can see this much easier on our things. Now, I know that this drum loop is 120 BPM, okay? And you'll see that we're on 115 BPM. Well, I'm going to load a song, load l stretch test, bing, like this. Oh, and there is my song loaded using my loop tester kit. And you will see... There is set at 110. If I double tap it, you'll see it's set at 110. And yet I know that my drum loop is... Now, you can do some very, very cool stuff with this that was probably unintentional on Paul's part, but it does sound awesome. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we have the drum loop. It goes over four bars. So this is important for you to know that when you're time stretching, you want to know the length of the loop you've imported. That's important, okay? Because otherwise you'll get into all sorts of mess. So know the length of the loop in bars that you've imported. Now, you can see that I've got a basic kick pattern there. And on the second set of tracks there, I have got a loop triggering. Now, of course, the pattern is running at 110. The loop is running at 120, so here's what it, what's going to happen. Okay, so you get the picture there. The loop is running too fast. So we want to stretch that loop to fit, which is brilliant because that means you can import your audio loops and stuff like that and stretch them to fit. You don't really have to be worrying about the, the, the timing of the loop. Here you've got a brilliant loop that runs at 136 BPM, but you think, oh my God, my, my project is 120. Easy peasy now. You just need to know, and this is important, you need to know the length of the loop before you start messing around with it. Right, long hold on the pad. Yes, 37, yes, strike the light, people. Please strike the like while you're still here. Striking the like is important for the channel. And also is becoming a patron is also important and subscribing and things. Right, okay, they all help lots and lots and lots. Right, if we long hold now. Let's wait till our loop finishes. 
cool loop. <laughs> right, you'll see that we've got lots of different options here. And one of those options is time stretch. Now you won't get this in the user section yep, in the default kits, okay? To do any editing and stuff like that to the kits, you need to be in user. Yes, you did, Stephen. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Much appreciated. So we've got our we've got our our options here like this, see? And we're gonna hit time stretch. Time stretch. And it's gonna ask you to stretch it over how many beats. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stretching it over eight beats or 32 beats. I need to stretch this over 16 beats, which is the length of my progression here. Do you see? Uh, 16 over 4, uh, 64. That's the length. That's We've got 64 steps gone because I know that the loop I imported is four bars long. Okay? Right. Here's the thing. Hit 16 and it will time stretch it to 16. I'll take a, it'll take a, a few seconds. So we'll just, we'll just wait. We'll just wait now while it time stretches. While it does its thing. It's... It's, it's a thing thing. And then when it's done that, I'll show you something very cool. Okay, so now it says time stretch, 110 BPM, over 16 bars. And you'll see it's highlighted in blue. Okay, no, it's not math. <laughs> it's not math. It's just bars, bars. For, for one bar has four beats, two bars, eight beats, three bars, 12 four bars, 16 beats. It's a four bar loop. You want it over 16 beats sort of thing. That's all. I know you, I know you're joking with me now. Right. Okay. So you'll see it's highlighted in blue. <clears throat> this is very cool because if you mess it up, this allows you to do this. Now let's just, let's listen to it as it is. Okay. So I've, I've hit it twice now. Oh, started it off as well. Right now. What's going to happen now is it's all going to stay in time. So it's a wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing. It is. It, that's exactly what it is. I wish you'd have called it wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing. That would have been much more fun. Right, here we go. If we press play now, we'll get our kick drum, which is going over all 64 events. So 64 beats because it's a four bar loop. Okay, so here we're going to go. It's all in time. So we've time stretched our loop. Now this is brilliant, right? You need to think about how good this is if you've got loops of different speeds and stuff. Now you can see that it's not white like the other ones. It's blue. If we long hold on it and we go clear reference. Yes. What that's done is, because it's non-destructive, you've tested it out and it's fine, but say you didn't really want it and you was going to change your mind anyway, or say you'd got it wrong, okay? Now you've got, you, you've got your drum loop back at 120. And you've... Do you know what? And you've, you've, not, that, you've not repped anything or anything like that. So here's the other cool thing, right? This is so cool, right? I don't even know if, if Paul meant to do this, but this is just brilliant. Long hold, right? Let's do time stretch again. And this time, let's stretch that four bar pattern over eight beats. Listen to what happens. It's epic, this is. It turns into drum and bass. I ain't kidding. Seriously. Okay, brilliant. So I've, I haven't destroyed anything, but I've, you know, but listen to what happens now. Right. So in a, in a pattern length that that's long, that, that, that is that long over four bars, theoretically it should stop, but let's see. Right. Okay. So on the second, on the, um, it's hard to get this right. I'm going to have to go down to where my thing is, right? Drum loop, right? So we're okay for the first two, but on 33 to 48, let's put it again. So we get that whole super speeded up like drum and bass loop that originally started at 120 and is now theoretically running at 240 over a 120 pattern. 
Okay, over a, sorry, it's over a, over a 220 over a 110 pattern. It sounds brilliant. Okay, so we, I'll just keep looping around, obviously. So, okay, that's that. But you, Right, okay, but let's hold this and let's go clear reference again. And it'll take you back to our 120. The cool thing is, if you go even faster, right, so we'll time stretch that to four, right? But if you go to the 32, it'll slow it down half speed, if you know what I mean. It's very clever. It's very clever because it all keeps it in the right... Right, so now this is this is basically running at, what did I say, 220? So this would be running at um, 440 over one bar. So, you know, it'll stop after one, one pass, basically. And it'll start again now because we put that other loop. So if we wanted that to be on everyone, all we'd need to do is just go and we can skip that one, skip this one. And now we'll have the 110 kick drum and the loop will be running at what is what is effectively 440 BPM. <laughs> Which is epic. So that's cool. But we don't, to keep things, let's just clear the reference again. Now we can make this permanent, but what we're gonna do is make it permanent now. Let's do this, let's do time stretch. Let's time stretch 16, which is correct. Let it do its thing, put it over there. Be interesting to do that with, oh, it's cool. It's just, it's so cool. I, I love it, it's so clever. This drum app just does so much cool stuff. And you just need a little bit of time to get into it, and it's fab. It really is good. Right, okay, so brilliant. So now we've, what I need to do now, of course, is go to events 17 to 32. Remove that. Go to 33 to 48. Remove that. Go to 49 to 64 and remove that. And now we should theoretically be back to that drum loop playing over the entire stretch of those four bars with the kick drum. Normally. And it obviously is. Okay, so we're happy with that. Okay, so we can long hold it again and put make permanent. Yeah. And now that loop is permanently 120, done deal. Right, now. Here's the other thing I want to show you. We'll stay on this kit for this, it's fine. We have a blank. A blank finger. Now, this was a bit, it's been a bit weird. This was absolutely perfection when it was iOS um, 12. Excuse me. When it was iOS 12. But it the files app, although it's better, it's just weird the way it reacts now to drag and drop. Sometimes it works properly. Sometimes it doesn't. And it's a bit of a pain. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Trust me, it does work, but you just have to might have to fiddle with it a bit, as hopefully you'll see. Right, okay, so there is the files app. You do this, this is easy to do actually. All you need to do is place your files app in your like main bar thing there. There it is. And all you need to do is pick it up, right, and drag it. You can drag it over here or here, or stick it there like that, and then we could go to restart snares and claps and then pull it off to the side and when we want it back we can do this and if we wanted say for instance we wanted to drag something um onto here well most of you will know but you just hold it and drag it down and just you can put it across that side and drop it like that but you can do this with lots and lots of apps you know what i mean so right so now here we go this is here's the thing let's put a yeah let's put a closed hat in there so Let's go back to the. These are Dean's Dean daughter's uh, electronic sounds reflective. So that's open. Let's go to a closed hat over here. Now, hopefully, I can just pick this up and drop it onto the pad like this. Look. Okay. Great. Done. There it is. All right. 
and uh, let's put i've done it the wrong way around actually it doesn't matter but now let's pick up this open hat and put it on that closed hat there like that. okay so sometimes sometimes what was happening was if if i now try to drop another what well, this will do layering okay now what was happening earlier when i tried to drop another um sample on top of this one which you should be able to do normally you can definitely 100% do it from like the import section that's fine that's tambourine so i'll try and put a tambourine onto that open hat now right drag it on ah it's working now right so i'm going to place that tambourine on layer two layer one is the hat layer two is going to be the tambourine okay so Let's just move this out of the way for a sec before I get into something more. Now, what we've got now there, let's switch velocity on anyway. And let's go into our control our, our section here. So let's hold and swipe and let's switch velocity layers on. Okay, so now the velocity is set so that the tambourine will come on come in at a high velocity and velocities are kind of mapped across the pad from bottom to top so lower velocities are then they'll get slightly louder and then the tambourine will come in over the actual hi-hat Great. Okay, so you have velocity layer, but say for instance, right? Say like, okay, well we, got, do you know what? I'd really, really like the tambourine to play with the hi hat all the time. So we long hold, and once you drop another sample or import another sample even onto another pad, you get an option when you long hold to multi layer configuration. Okay, so you tap on that, and now you can select layer one, layer two. Or layer three now paul has conveniently set these up for us already right so layer one is from velocity one to 27 super fine which we know is the open hat because that's layer one and there's the there's the tambourine so let's have a look at layer two layer two velocity does not start till 64 okay so if we went even further 74 84 94 we could go, it would be right, right near the top, maybe. Right, okay, even further. Further. Right near the top. Or, vice versa, if we go all the way down to one, they're going to play at the same time, right? Whatever velocity you have. And if you want, you can switch velocity off and they'll be the same velocity wherever you're playing or you can switch velocity back on and have velocity set for those, right? Now, what you could also do as well is drop another one on and set up the velocities in the same way. Now, I'm pretty sure that Paul said there's an update coming, right? Where he's added even more layers. Is that right, Paul? How many layers have you added in the next one? So we've got three layers for now, which to me is plenty. This is plenty. Plenty, plenty. So now you, you can see how you do. Yeah, five layers, five layers. Incredible. Joe, are you watching, darling? Could I have a, a drink, please? I'm dry. I'm, I'm, I'm dry. It's like, it's like, I'm, it's like I'm, I'm eating sand. You might not be watching now. Right. So now we've learned how to do our stretching. Thanks, darling. Do our stretching. Uh, adjust our tempo. Uh, import stuff directly from the, the What's It app. So, I mean, we could put a shaker. Let's pick that up and put a shaker on the floor like that. I will cover one more thing while I'm here. Uh, the mute groups okay so swipe up now you don't have to keep swiping up on each pad right oh hi deeds here excellent 
Can you shift? Can you time shift the different layers? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. You'd have to ask Paul. What would be the? I don't know. But yeah. All right. Okay. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't know. I wouldn't even bother trying. But anyway. These here, because it's all this stuff, look. Now, you don't need to keep swiping up. If you look at the top there, it says open hat. Open hat, closed hat, snare, bass drum, floor tom. You, we can rename these as well, because that was shaker, wasn't it? So let's long hold that there. Just Let's rename it to shaker. Shaker. Okay. Key thing as well also here is to, let's just close that a sec. I'm just going to save drum kit, okay? Not rename it, and I'll just overwrite that drum kit. And that will remember my loop tested drum kit and all the changes that I've just made to it. That You, you don't want to be getting into the situation where you're thinking, well, you know, I've lost all this stuff and not, not what's it. If you want to save a pattern, you save it as a song. You want to save a drum kit, you save it as a drum kit. So let's swipe up again. We've got our our two our two things on there, but if we hit round robin now, what we'll get is alternate alternate. Every time you hit it, is an alternate uh, thing like that. And if you've got three, it will it will round robin through the three. If you've got the five with the next update. It'll round robin through the five, or you could set velocity laying up for the five, and etc. etc. Thank you. Soup, sir. Th thank you. Thank you. Soup. 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 Thank you. <laughs> hey, Adali, you can have this one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> soup. Soup. Yeah, round robin. There it is, look. Well, let's 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 see this, Dean. Let's see this in action, shall we? Let's let's go to your reflective. Uh, snares, snares, claps, snares, and rims. Uh, we, we just use this one for now. I don't know how it's going to sound, but let's just drag this onto the snare drum. So let's drag over it. And, ah, now here's what it was doing before, right? See this look? But what is going on? This is the files app. This is. I, see, whatever you do, you can't. You can't make it. You can't make it what's it, but there is another way around this because I could be messing around now for ages and ages and it will just keep doing that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it this way to show you another way, right? We've got this. We've got import sample. Okay. I'm going to import two, layer two. We get to, look at this. Let's see what we've got now. Let's see. We've got some snare drum. Some, let's go to audio share files. Let's go to reflective. Oops. There we go. Um, I don't know what that is. What's that? I'm gonna go to audio share. Um, where's reflective? Reflective, Dean. Now that that that's a, that's a problem with the files app. It's it's a weird new thing because they've added all sorts of cool new stuff you can do with it. But it makes dragging and dropping onto things a bit harder. I think. Right, so what we got now? Let's see. Reflective drums. Snares. And oh, what we'll do with a clap. Clap. And it'll just sample imported successfully. So, But we can still only hear the kick drum because we need to engage velocity layers. And there we go. Now, don't forget, we've got velocity mode engaged as well. So if we switch that off, you're not going to get... You're not going to get the clap come in because you're not going to get the clap because <laughs> you're not going to get the clap coming in because it's set at a higher velocity. So we need to turn velocity layers on to hear it. But however, okay, brilliant. So there, there it is. Let's do round robin. You don't want the clap. So that's round robin. Velocity lays is nice because you can. So 
do all sorts of cool stuff. And with five layers coming, my word, my word. Uh, right, okay, so here we go. Now, let us see. I'm going to close this now. So you can see that you can do any, change any of the controls just by hitting the pad. Right, let me load another, another, another song. Let's see, let's see. Straight ahead. So this is basic, a basic kind of, it's a basic rock pattern, if you like, so. And it was just set up in a default section with alt, because when you save a song, it remembers the kit and location stuff like that. So that's cool. So that's just the basic drum pattern that I set up earlier. Brilliant, right? No problem. Epic stuff. We know we've got song mode. I covered song mode in the last video, so I'm not going to go through it again, but it's pretty straightforward, okay? Because I'd have to make some more patterns, etc., etc. So round robin cycles through the samples in order. Would love the random feature there. <laughs> that might be interesting. Um, right, so we know we have our mixer for each and individual sound. That's fine. And we know we have an EQ. I didn't cover controllers. Controllers. This is just brilliant, right? Let's let's do this with the closed hi hat. So what we do down the side here is all the drums that are in our kit here, like this, right? So if we go to closed hat, here is the note velocity for closed hat. Now, previously, you know that if you use right, you can let's take them out, right? And let's go back to our pads here. You will see across the top that it says, now Paul's changing this as well. He's having these buttons hold, which is better. Okay, so you could, you, you click fade rolls in this. But right for right now, if you hold fade rolls like this, that hi-hat will increase, will over the time increase in velocity. We solo it and listen to it okay let's take that out and if you go in the opposite direction they'll decrease in velocity well if you hold fade rolls right let's get rid of them again hold hold fade rolls and do this okay so now they'll decrease in velocity if we listen nice right so let's take them out but let's just put them all back in for the purposes of this. And let's go to our controllers. Closed hat. So here's our velocity. What we can do now is we can we can draw it in here like that. Look. Look, we've got a we've got a mega velocity ramp. First 16. Second 16. Because we've got like two bars. So now we can mix and match our velocities all over the place. Now to save any mess around it, I'm just going to change this down to 4-4. Four, four, so we've just got one bar. Now what we shall do is we shall select the closed hat velocities to more or less. Or in fact, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take them out, draw them back in again so they're all the same velocity. We also now have pan. You're not going to hear pan. <laughs> okay, you're not going to hear pan because we, we're on YouTube and YouTube let, with, with iOS only streams in mono. But let's go to um, tracks number thing and let's put let's put a load of these high toms in. All right, yeah, let's put a few of these in as well. This is going to sound this is going to sound chronic, right? Listen. It's messy, all right? Let's go to probability for the start off and let's go to our high tom and let's draw in a few random variations of probability. 
And let's go to our low tom where our other one is here. And let's draw in another few random variations of probability percentages here and maybe go with a high tom and take a few of them out sort of thing. Now we're going to get much more interesting... But it doesn't stop there, people. Oh, no. It doesn't stop there. Because don't forget, you can pan every single individual track. It's just that you won't hear it now. So I'm not going to do that. We have velocity. We have pitch, people. Yes, people. We have pitch. Pitch is awesome. Individual pitch for every single step. Hi, Tom. Let's do this. Let's do some crazy stuff. And let's do some crazy stuff with the low Tom, too. Let's pitch these right up like that. Let's pitch a few of them really low. What's it going to sound like now, right? Epic. What can I tell you? It's just brilliant. It's just absolutely brilliant. It's crazy madness, Paul, but it shows you how brilliant your app is because you might not want to use that in that circumstance. But if, you know what I mean? It, these are extreme, extreme choices. Um, I mean, it doesn't stop there, people. No, let's go to pads. Let's go. Oh, well, okay. Well, I want what well, I want this high tom here to be a, 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 a quarter triplet there, like that one, too. I want this one a quarter triplet. This one, a, this one a quarter triplet. Oh, hang on a minute. I think some of them would sound really nice with one eighth note triplets at the bottom of them there. Them, them four there, like this. Put them back in. One, two, three, four. Let it get eight notes on the low tom. Let's go. You see, guys, honest, I'm not kidding. I absolutely, I, I love this. I love the interface. I love the, the ease of it. I love the fact that you can do some just, ex, it's extreme drum programming, but without a lot of difficulty. It sounds great. It comes with a shed load of its own kits, but the import and, you know, being able to import stuff is just, it's just fantastic, I think. Now, I want to, I think I pretty much covered everything. I mean, I did make a few notes. Done the controllers, done layers, done time stretching, done tempo, pretty much done it all. Recording. Recording what, Paul? Recording. Recording. What did I say? Recording. Recording where? Reco rec recording automation. I don't think I've done that yet. Uh, audio. Your vo oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's go to where, uh, just for fun, let's go to user. Um, create new drum kit. Uh, let's do this quickly. Sampling. Right, we've got a new drum kit. Okay. So, um, I have to, I have to, because I haven't done this, Paul. Okay, so you might wanna. Like, you know, you might want to if I'm going to do anything wrong. But what I did was when it, when I very, very first got the app off, Paul, we did some, I was on the phone to him and I was, we were going through the sampling thing. But I can sample, so I can sample my voice. So we choose the slot we wish to, thingy ear here, and we hit record. One, two, one, two. Now, as soon as I hit record, I can then uh, sample. So I shall do some sort of... Uh, we can also sample stuff in, of, of course, but it, nothing, nothing's plugged in, so. Doof. There you go. Auto stop. And what we need to do is we need to play that. Doof. <laughs> Doof. Doof. Oh, it's pretty quick. But I could edit it. Or I, I think what I could do is normalize it. So I'll do it to pretty loud. So um, let's see. Doof. Doof. And then you can you can crop it, clear it, fade it in and out. But anyway, up add sample and let's do number two. <laughs> let's do a record on number two. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Okay, let's do this. Oh, 
I need to um, edit. <laughs> I need to edit that a bit, actually. Um, cancel, edit. It, no, I don't want to assign. I want to. I w ah, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. How can I go back to my record? I'm going to. Let me just delete this. Pain in the boom. I'm just going to delete that sample. Okay. And I'm going to record, record it again. Because <clears throat> I forgot to normalize it. <laughs> yeah. Dumf, 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 dumf. Dumf, dumf, dumf. Uh, I'll do, what the hell? Do? Yeah, that'll do. Boom, ch, boom, boom, ch, ch. Right. So I'm going to normalize that now to there. And just play it. I'm I'm pretty good as well, so I haven't actually got to do tap and hold on the right. Okay, thanks, Paul. Right, so there we go. So I'm going to add sample. Right. Yeah, you can record stuff in as well. So there you go. There's sampling. We could go on and on, but we're not going to. There's sampling, and of course you can apply your effects, which we looked at in the last video, etc., etc. One more thing I want to show you guys. This isn't really, most of you are going to dump. Most of you are going to, <laughs> thanks David, mate. Dump, dump, dump. Most of you are going to, right, okay, so I'm just going to do this one to quick, dump. for quick edit, right? Do, 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 edit. Brilliant. There you go. That's what I could have done. Just done that. Gone back to the pad. Thanks, Paul. Man, such a genius. And of course, I could, of course, dump. Doom, doom. I could of course layer one of let's see if we this let's see if this stupid thing will work again now. Uh kicks, 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 kicks. I'm just gonna do the love this one. Dean said he loves this one even though it's one of his look. look. See this. I'm gonna drop that. Oh yeah, see? You see there's a there's some sort of issue. I'd love that kick on there. And try again, hang on. Browse. Oh man, it's it is it's it's really annoying. I know this isn't the app neither. This is something new. This is something new that's gone. It's just not right. I don't think. I'm gonna. What was it called? Love this one. I'm gonna do it the the normal way. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go import. Where is it now? Import sample and layer two because my voice is layer one. Obviously, go back to drums kicks. Kicks and uh, do, do, do. do that. Okay. And I'm going to swipe up and switch velocity lays on. <laughs> that's great. So anyway, that's how you do your, 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 your sample and sort of thing. One more thing I want to show you guys, okay? So I'm going to... Don't forget that whenever, you, whenever you've done anything, any changes, please remember to save your drum kit if you've made changes to that. And also, if you want to, sorry, save the song, let's call this one kind of uh, doof, doof. Doom, doof. <laughs> so you can always come back to it sort of thing, right? So, brilliant. Right, I, one more thing I need to show you. Well, I don't need to show you, but I just want to do this inside AUM because it's to do with more to do with the A, the way it works in A, uh, in AUV3 as well. Okay, so let's do this. I just, <laughs> just for now, just for... Just for fun, people. I don't know where to actually start, actually. Let's see. BS16. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it because it does have drums in it. Now, let's see. Let's go down to, like, um, oh, we could do any, we could do anything, really, couldn't we? Overdrive guitar. I'm in the wrong thing here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, must have some drums in this kit. Ah, timpani. Here we go. Right, so I'm just going to... Lovely. Let's open up. Um, 
this here. Where are we? Where are we going now? Dun dun. dun. Um, what's it? What's it? Digi sticks. Oh no, it's in Paul's section, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Digi sticks. So you want to if you just if you want to be sampling into Digi sticks, you want to be putting it in the effect slot so we can hear the thing, right? So let's go to our user and let's go to our loop test there. What was it loop test that we had it on? Sampling, let's go to sampling kit, which is the kit we've just been messing with, right? And we've got a thingy there. And doom, 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 doom. I need to switch, <laughs> switch on my uh, vo 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 velocity, velocity. There you go, to hear me. Doom, 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 doom. Right, let's go to this empty, empty one here. Like the, but we can do this here. We can go to this one empty. Okay, so hang on a sec. Let's monitor. Um, yeah, okay, dude. Let's. We could turn it up a little bit, I guess. Or we could turn it up inside. What's it? So let's record that, shall we? Super. Now let's do our normalize. Now because it's got a, a trigger threshold, right? It's brilliant because it's not going to start recording. But like I said, you can crop it and edit it if you want to. So that's that's very cool. Let's do that. Bang like this, and let's uh, turn monitor off now. Brilliant. So now we've got. Ding, like this. Uh, let's close this. We've got our. Oh, by the way, double tap. You can. You'll get it in full screen as well. So I was just there, like doing that. You know. So. Now. Why isn't it recorded? What happened? I. I'm. Right. Hang on. Try that again, shall I? Oh, it says empty. Did I not add sample? Apply. <laughs> Let's do that again, Paul. Right. Uh, record. I'm going to just engage. The, uh, what's it? The, the keyboard. God, what's going on now? Hmm. <laughs> Monitor. Like what's what's what the what's gone on now? Monitor is off. It's not even in the chain, Paul. So I should be able to hear BS sixty. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Sometimes I wonder I do. Let's go back to find timpani. 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 <clears throat> I really liked it, the timpani sound. Oh. Do you know what? I'm... <sighs> Just my head in it does. Right, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a kalimba. Because I couldn't be bothered trying to look for timpani. Right, so. Now I need to put it back in. Into its thing and. If I turn monitor off now. Perfect. Right, yeah. So let's do this again. Record. And we've got like, like a kalimba sound. You having a net? I know, I know, Paul. Don't stress me out, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. Right. Um, okay, so I'm on to uh, normalize that again. I'll do 3 dB. Let's play that. Now, what do I want to do, Paul? To get this onto the the thing, what do I hit? Add sample. 
add sample add sample brilliant now okay done done deal what i want to do now is save drum kit yes done and it's done it's going to remember now here's the thing what i did want to point out to you someone said it's not playing in time with AUM. Right, let's get back to just before I go, let's go back to load and uh, this uh, straight head beat. Okay, the, the actual, where is it? The, the, the kind of just basic rock beat. Okay. The, it's really, really important this. You need to engage host sync host sync okay if you don't do that it will not sync but when you do you're synced with aum and we can easily demonstrate that by speeding aum up to 140 Or slowing it down if you like. Cool. Now, what can what can be confusing is that, that you will not be able to stop or start it now via via this. Okay. You need to stop it via the transport. You will also notice that it still says it's on 120. But, you know, it doesn't make any difference because you're using your host sync. And that, fine friends, brings me to the end of this evening's Did You Sticks update tutorial. You know, it's a weird thing at about six or seven minutes in. I was thinking, that's going to take 20 minutes. <laughs> but, you know, when you get into it and you start doing a, a, a few bits and other pieces and things. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. If you haven't struck the like, please strike it now. <laughs> like. I um, <clears throat> need some sound effects on it. <clears throat> yes, please strike the like. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Paul. I, I, I did try to... I just wanted to try and cover everything here individually at a time. So you can, you can go back and refer... Yeah, but Russ, you can go back and refer to my first app, first live stream for it for the other stuff and this one and we should do another one and we'll do another basic one when um when it gets updated again with the 25 sample layers per pad that is a joke by the way it's got five sample layers per pad coming which i think is well well i would never use that many but obviously dean would with the randomized feature which paul said he could add you see see that the, the developer is brilliant um just it's really good if it can be done he'll do it and it's lovely jabbly lovely it's like that and it looks nice as well doesn't it but then what's nice is that i get used to paul's apps because you know once you understand basically how they how they work they all kind of work the same way there's you know you you, you you're looking at the same kind of uh this layout ui sort of thing which is nice listen guys I am gonna. I'm glad you liked it, Dean, I, I, and everybody else and Spider. And thanks, I say he turned up as well, Stephen Spider. What? And thanks, Stephen Rimmer as well, also for becoming a patron yesterday. Top man. If anyone else wants to become a patron, there's a link below. And for as little as a dollar a month, people, to support the uh, work we do here at the Science Test Room, because we can't do it without you guys. We just can't. Oh no, the circle. I, no, the circle's on. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Got to, I love the circle. The circle's epic. Right, guys, listen. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. No, wait a minute. The circle is not on in five minutes, Paul. It's not until 10 o'clock tonight. The 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 actual the actual uh, ones where they're in the apartment one is that they don't doesn't start till 10. Anyway, so it's only the live shows that are on every couple of days or when they do a, a block is um what's it on it on at nine. 
what's the circle? It's an English TV programme where they put a bunch of people in a in an apartment block in Manchester this time, actually, in an apartment block. They can't see each other and they can't speak to each other. They can only communicate to each other via the circle, which is like an internal uh, social media app. Uh, and so they can be, and they, there's a chance to win. They, whoever wins, wins 100 grand. And it, and if 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 um, they can be whoever they like, so they can be a catfish. Do you know what I mean? So we've got a couple of people in there who are, who are, who are guys pretending to be girls. We've got one uh, uh, woman pretending to be her son. It's brilliant. And it's absolutely brilliant because they can't see them and they can choose their own profile pictures. Doesn't even have to be them. It's epic. It's epic fun, right? It is. It's great fun. It's great fun. I think America have bought it actually as well. I think Amer- I think uh, Channel Four sold it to the states. I think they were doing one the Circle USA or something as well. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's not until Temple. The, 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 the normal shows where they're in the apartment, which are the best ones, to be fair, they're just brilliant. Uh, are, are in the yeah, are, are on a ten, only on for an hour. Right, guys, I am definitely gonna go. It's like yeah, it's like Facebook really, but you can't exactly like that. But you can't. So they can't see each other, you know what I mean, or hear each other. It's fab. Right, anyway, I'm going to go. I, I'm glad you enjoyed that. And I, I really do hope I covered most of the new stuff. Um, okay. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Thanks for joining me this evening. And, uh, yes, I shall see you tomorrow, hopefully. Ta-ta.